Hello everyone, Jeff here for Respawn Studios, back with a Borderlands 2 video. This is going to be a complete Easter egg guide for Borderlands 2's first Headhunter pack. Um, here I'm showing you it's called Bloody Harvest, and you probably also have to get the new compatibility pack if you haven't played in a little while. Now, I think the best thing that Gearbox does with Borderlands, other than make it a great game to begin with, is their fan service is outstanding. Everything they do with their DLCs... Uh, all the golden keys, it's crazy. Um, so this is the first Headhunter pack. It's just a couple missions and one big raid boss with some special weapons and skins. But it's only $3, so it's really worth getting. Um, so when you first download it, the area you're going to fast travel to is called Hallowed Hollow. Right there. And you see I'm in kind of my Halloween skin and head. <laughs> Now, um, there are four different steps to doing this Easter egg, and I'm going to explain that. Um, but as I explain it, I'm going to be doing all of it along the way. So um, you're going to have to shoot six red pumpkins. The first one is right here at the start of the area, to the right of this covered bridge. And you probably noticed that beam I'm trying to zoom in on floating around. Um, when you shoot it, like fire, or this weird flame stuff comes out, and it goes over to one of six torches around a church. And when you light all six, destroy all six pumpkins, the door opens to the church and you get a uh, weapon chest. Alright, so once you run down the first hill, I'm showing you the zombie TK Baja, come over to this archway to the left, and on the first uh, mausoleum on the right is our second red pumpkin. Now if you've never done the DLC at all, um, this area is probably confusing to you. Um, so I uh, I guess wholeheartedly suggest um, not going for these easter eggs until you've already um, finished the missions because you need the gate to be opened etc etc that's the first mission um, so there's the gate that has to be opened um, what I was showing you the four mausoleums like the pumpkin head that's for killing the boss those are the four um, mausoleums that the torches on top of them light when you complete each of the four steps of the, deal, um, the, of the easter egg I'm sorry there was our third red pumpkin there, through the gate that you unlock for the mission on the right hand side of that area. Now, I've already beaten the Pumpkin King a bunch of times, and I'm also playing on True Vault Hunter mode for the sake of making this video quick and painless. What do you see on max level? I'm up to over level 7 as well. Um, so you flood this area with blood to apparently piss off the Pumpkin King, which makes him come out. He's not exactly raid boss difficulty. He can be difficult though. Um, but here obviously he's way under leveled for me, so when you kill him, you then have to defeat his head, which has much less health, but it does a lot of damage and it flies around so it's harder to hit. But there we go. Um, also, if you're unfamiliar with the DLC, um, there are certain enemies that drop candy, and the candy is basically, um, if you played the Tiny Tina DLC where they had the uh, relics that you could buy, or buy, like I guess sort of rent with Iridium, that give you um, different attribute boosts for a little bit, the candy does the same thing. The red one makes you do more damage, yellow one makes you run faster for a little bit, the blue one makes your melee attacks, like make people fly backward. There's Justin invited me to play Borderlands, and I think Nick invites me to a party. Two of the other respawn guys. Alright, so one of the other sections that I forgot, and you see I had to run back across this field. There are three televisions that you can find hidden away in areas that are off the map, if you notice the mini-map in the top right. Um, they're all related to classic horror movies. This one is for the Blair Witch Project. So you just watch like the five to seven second clip they have on the TV. I'm not sure if you just have to trigger the event to have the TV start or actually watch it, but I always just watch the little thing. And I was showing you like the clap traps made out of wood. This is like when they make the wood, they find those wood totems in the forest. All right, now I'm gonna run all the way back. So the four parts to the Easter egg. One is to defeat the Pumpkin King that puts um, one of the torches above those catacombs um, alight. Another is to destroy the six red pumpkins. We've already destroyed three of them. 
Um, another is to find the three horror movie TVs. We found one of those. And the final one, there is a um, cauldron where you sacrifice a gun, a shield, and a grenade into it, and then it gives you a weapon chest. So those are the four parts. When they're all done, you see right there that um, torch is lit above there. Um, so when all four are done, it summons a unique um, like Easter egg boss who pretty much always... I've killed him, I think, six times, and only one time did he not drop an orange... His um, orange unique rocket launcher. Alright, there's the fourth pumpkin. And you see right there is the church. Alright, our second TV is behind the church. And again, in the top right mini map, you see it's kind of off the map. And this one is going to be for the ring. Or Ringu. See the video is Claptrap coming out of the well. You see there's a phone. Seven days. <laughs> and there's Nick inviting me to a party. Alright, so now we are heading toward the um, cauldron. It's right on the right side of this town, this humongous uh, tree stump. Or the roots of this tree, obviously not the stump, I guess. <laughs> I mean, see, I actually have some pretty good stuff. It's all over level things, but nowhere near good as good as the um, oranges we have from doing all of the um, days of the challenge that's going on now. You get so many of the amazing weapons. So you see, I have a lot of purples and oranges. It's going to drop in what I'm not using. And there we go. It's another torch lighting thing. Each one lights up when you drop in that item, and then you get this weapon chest. And I don't pick up the stuff, again, because I'm on True Vault Hunter mode, so it's maxed at level 50 when I'm 72, so it's not useful. Alright, now we have to go up and around all the way. We're going to get our final TV and our next red pumpkin. Now, I wish there was a shortcut, but there's not, so you have to go up and around. This is where you flight. Flight? Nice. <laughs> uh, fight the blacksmith for the mission to forge the key to then go on and fight the pumpkin king. So we're making our way up through all of these uh, spider areas, spider ant areas. So I'm using the uh, infinity pistol here. And I like this one a lot because it's um, corrosive. I have a shock um, rocket launcher, I have the Hellfire SMG. And then my explosive rocket launcher. Alright, so this is where you fight the blacksmith. Gonna run through this area. So if you hear my chair creaking, I'm trying to <laughs> position myself to be a little bit more comfortable. I'm in the corner of my room, scrunched into my desk, trying to do this commentary. Alright, so now this um, next one, in this little village part here on the left, there's going to be um, stairs down to the basement of this place where our TV will be for Poltergeist. So this is our third and final TV that will complete that um, portion of our four Easter eggs. And then the building shakes. You see a picture of Marcus over there? Very nice. <laughs> All right, now this pumpkin is right at the bottom of the stairs. All right, so that is five out of six pumpkins. We've done the cauldron, we've done the pumpkin king, we've done the TV, so now we just need the final pumpkin, which I did not get when I was in the area, so I'm going to have to go back. Now, I try and uh, snipe it with the infinity pistol. I probably should have taken a sniper out and made it easier on myself, but I'm an idiot, <laughs> and I didn't think to do that. So I'm trying to shoot it from really far away with the infinity pistol, but there I see the torch is not lit, so I realize, oh yeah, I didn't get that one pumpkin. But with the infinity pistol, the shots kind of go all over the place, so it never hits it from this range. So I run up there after I get stuck in the top of the level here for a little bit. Alright, and there we go. 
kind of set out of the map. You can just zoom in and shoot it. All right, now we have to head back up. Now I'm not sure at what point the um, torch lights above the catacomb for the six pumpkins. I assume it's just when you destroy the sixth pumpkin, but just to be sure, and because I always like items, I come up to the church anyway, and then the door is going to open, and there's our weapon chest. There's also a guy spinning around up there. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to run back and kill this little easter egg boss. And he has a very, very high chance, from my experience, of dropping the uh, unique orange item, a rocket launcher, a fire rocket launcher. And yeah, that'll about do it for this video. I hope that helped. I hope you found it a little useful. And that is our easter egg guide for the Bloody Harvest Headhunter Pack. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do um, videos for the others because I'm going to upgrade to Xbox One, trade this in the day before. Um, but I hope you found this one useful. Thank you very much for watching and I should be back with more videos soon.